Hey guys, Truth to 5000. I'm getting ready to paint the Jeep. Um, yeah, I'm not doing a windshield frame. I'm going to do that after and the doors after. Just want to get the tub mainly. <clears throat> tub of the fenders. See what it's going to look like here. Um, wiped everything down with mineral spirits, paint thinner. And then I'll take tack cloth and go over the surfaces. I got a mask off the uh, back here, but since it's drying, I can do that. Um, but yeah, I got a mask off this a little bit. Not really concerned about it. But, um, there's the hood. I'll probably throw uh, some stuff over my toolbox at least. That's probably the important part here. I'll probably throw it off in the corner and cover everything. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, I'm just going to spray it. Um, over spray wise, I don't really care because it's all oil on undercoat anyways underneath. Um, yeah, got my hood hanging. It's about 55 out, just about right. Um, I mean, I got some things I gotta pay more attention to after, but, uh, you know, I'll get to it. As long as I can get it within, you know, the red color range. You can see the hood. I painted that already and gone over it because I found some mistakes. So, I'm not gonna get it perfect. But it'll be, you know, okay. So, here's the paint I'm using. It's Rust-Oleum Gloss Regal Red. I got this can, which is probably about half full. And here's this one, it's a brand new one. We think this be enough. This is Gloss Regal Red. Thin it with a little bit of paint thinner. And then, what do I got here? I got a port of cable. Gravity feed gun here. Be using this to paint with and We'll see how it does. It did the hood pretty decent. Not um not perfect, but you know, for a garage paint job it'll be okay. <clears throat> I'm even gonna paint the tops of the fenders here. I'm probably just gonna redo do everything here with Herculiner or the bottom pieces there. You can see I marked out my uh new spot for the Herculiner. I'm going that high because everybody that gets in the Jeep seems to kick the rockers here with their shoes and it gets all scuffed up and I don't want to put diamond plate on it and I know people will be like oh well you're putting a herculator on because it's all rotted and that's not true but I know some people do it but I'm doing it to protect the tub so but uh I'll we'll get some pictures and things and see what we end up with here hey right, guys see you later